Well, hi, good morning, and thank you so much for joining me in my shop. It's October 31st today, and the reason I started the video just now was there were two little kittens at my feet, and they're gone already. <laughs> oh, well, well, you're going to end up seeing a couple of playful kittens here, I think, today. And what about this radio? So I'm going to put the, uh, put the uh, dial plate back, back on. It's all cleaned up now, and we're going to try to align this, this radio and see how that goes. That's, that's the objective. I have to go find where these kittens have gone to. Okay, now I know many of you are interested in our kittens, so I'm trying to catch them on camera. <laughs> but they, they're whipping through here so fast. Hey! Kittens! Come on! What? <laughs> come on! Where are you? Oh, one went by. It's crazy in here. This is this is crazy time. Okay, I think the first thing I want to do is uh, just check the accuracy of the uh, dial. Uh, and and on the broadcast band, I'm just going to use uh, uh, broadcast stations. So let's 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 get them going here. On the uh, short wave stations, I'll use my signal generator. And we'll just go through and just check a few, maybe right in the middle here, uh, just to get an idea of the accuracy of things before we start fooling around. That doesn't sound right to me. I got this up pretty high. Hmm. That's 100 volts. Maybe that's not enough. I think that's what I found out yesterday. So we're going to give it the full, the full blow here and just turn this down. That's it. Just not enough voltage. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up some known stations like 590. Let's go for that. Well, we could spend three hours on the dot. So the fact that I was picking up stations back here is fantastic. Wow, I say wow. Okay. <laughs> the city, you know, they they usually rally baseball fans to have a, a care about. This is 590, and it's right on right on the money. So we'll shoot up to 860 here. Son of a gun. Sorry about that. This volume control. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. This volume control. Uh, <laughs> 740. So that's 860. Rated 860. Beautiful. Reception is great. Now, part of this is because I have, a, I have a very good antenna. I have a mini whip antenna that's powering this right now. Mini whip antenna on a very, very long lead in, by the way. So that's fantastic. So let's try some more bands. So while we'll stay on the antenna, there we are. So the color uh, thing here is shifting a little better this time. Okay, 11. We should pick stuff up. They're very quiet down here. Oh. <laughs> Tricky at every turn, this radio. Oh, somebody's... Oh, there was a kitten crawling on my leg just now.
There's that weird sound again. I don't know what that is. What could that be? Okay, um, so picking up stations at this time of day maybe not the best approach. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the middle of the band here. We'll pick off, like for here, for instance, 11.6. I'll get my signal generator going. We'll send over 11.6. We'll find out how accurate the radio is. Okay, we're ready. So we have the radio tuned to 11.6. And I'm almost there on the... Uh, let's have some volume. So I'm sending over a uh, modulated signal at a moderate strength. So the radio should should pick this up. Oh yeah, right there. And that's pretty close to 11.6. So what we'll do is we'll set this, set this to 11.6. And now we'll see. So it's just a wee bit off. So a band like this, 11.5, 11.6, so that's, that's quite a, a spread. Um, you should be able to get this a little more accurate, but that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now we'll set it to the next band up. We'll set it on 5.2. We'll dial in 5.2. Compare the strength. I won't change the strength here. So this guy's weaker and a little farther out. Um, so again, I'll set this to 5.2, and we'll tune it in, we'll try, where'd you go, oh maybe the volume's going up and down, <laughs> where'd you go? That's kind of strange. Five point two. I'm, I'm sure I heard it. Five point three. So it's quite a ways out. So again, we'll, we'll try it again here. Oh, there's one. <laughs> hey, troublemaker. He's looking, he's looking for trouble. He's looking for his buddy. There's his buddy. <laughs> there you are. There's the two of them. Off he goes. He's probably looking for his brother. Here goes his brother. And there you have it. <laughs> there we go, finally. You've seen them. Happy cats. Okay, now. So I determined uh, when you set a 5.2, you're picking up 5.3. So what's actually pick, picked up here is going to be much less. Let's go down. That doesn't make sense what I just said. That's okay. I don't have to make sense. I have two cats running around. There's no, there's no room for sense. Okay. So 5.2, let's, let's find it. for crying out loud <laughs> okay uh, anybody notice I never changed the band <laughs> yeah you probably noticed that okay 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 that 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 yeah that would explain it all right <laughs> oh man blame it on the cats so we got this basically 5.2 here and it's it's, it's on the money beautiful and it's plenty strong. <laughs> oh.
Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to change the band now. One way. We're on band 4. 9 megahertz. 9.5. 9.5. Really? Yeah, I think so. I think I got it. I think I got it under control here. <laughs> uh, 9.5 is right on the end of the band here. Uh, let's go up this way. Let's see if we can get there. So that's the image. Ooh, and there's the signal. Plenty strong here. Well, a very sensitive receiver. So right now I am pumping in. So this is uh, 10 microvolts uh, on the radio. And, uh, you know, roughly. I mean, can't be absolutely precise here, but... Roughly 10 microvolts, very, very low. This is a very low signal. I know from experience with this setting here, it's very low. The radio sensitivity is quite good. Uh oh, cat just crawled under my bench here. They are crawling into every nook and cranny in our house. Okay, I guess that's not to be surprised. Band is good, accurate too. So we're going to go up to the next band. And turn it the right way so now we're looking at 175 17.55 okay 17.55 what are you doing cat now he's playing they're playing with the wires i have hanging in here hey that's not that stuff's not a toy come on He wants, you know what? He's an electronics technician in the making. There he is. Someday you'll be fixing radios like me. <laughs> uh, maybe that's not the best thing for me to say. I can only fix radios as good as a cat. Okay, so we're 17.55 and uh, we're getting the distraction now. pretty close you know we're talking about a needle width here I think let's just put this on 17.5 the destruction is happening you can hear the house destruction taking place right now it's here okay that's about as close as I can get 17 Seventeen four nine five, seventeen four five, four six. A little out, close, but a little out. Okay, next band up is the twenty meter band. Hmm. Don't want to go any further. Sure what that's all about but the uh, color thing's not working quite right and, and just checking the antenna connection here okay so we picked this band uh, we pick in the middle of 1485 we'll dial up 1485 House is being destroyed behind me. Okay, volume's down. That's that what the problem is. No, the volume's right up. What happened here? Something happened to this radio while I was poking around just now. was not turned all the way. Sure it was. So we're at the end of the band run and it's indicating this band. It should be indicating this one up here. 
I, I lubricated this, but it really feels like it's not going any further. I'll have to look into that a little. That's disappointing. How does that happen? It's like it, like it does a half thing here. So we're actually up on the top band. So now we're on the 14. Am I sure? Yeah. Okay, 14. Very quiet. How come? Bad alignment. So I have 14,965 on the signal generator. Is that what I'm getting here? I don't know. Let's put it back where we're going to do this. 14,85. Not blast our ears off. Oh, it's a very low signal. Let's put it up a little bit. 14,85. And uh, very low signal again. So, uh, excellent. Excellent. Uh, one more band. So this one, this is a band of noise. It's running from 1.8, just above the broadcast band, to 4 megahertz. There's nothing in here for any of us to hear, here in North America anyway, I would say. So put it in the middle, 2.5. Once again, very close. Actually, I don't have this on 2.5. That'd be 2.5. Very, very close. Okay, um, we should check the IF tuning on this radio too. And we can do that simply by dialing up 455 on here. Tune somewhere a little quieter. Oh, what I just <laughs> fooled by this volume control constantly. But we, we can do it right there. We'll dial this down to 455. Tuning in a uh, multiple of, of this, I don't want that to happen. I, ju I just want this to be in the IF. It looks like we might not be able to pound it through here. This is what's happening at my feet. <laughs> hey, hey, that's come on, that's the video wire. Yeah, big house to explore for them. Okay, well, that's kind of what they do all day, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Continue watching them. I'll just try my best not to step on one. Okay, back to this. Um, 455. I'll put this up on full here. This has got to drive the signal in. Here we go. Okay, so it's, it's greatly suppressed. Now, some radios suppress 455, so it will not come in the antenna and it will not go out on the antenna. That's probably the case with this radio. It probably has a filter. So we're, we're pushing past it. Well, you know, the most I can say, it's, it looks like it's pretty close, if not dead on 455. So I gotta stop and think now. Is there, a, there's not really an alignment issue here and the radio is working really well. Perhaps I'm done even with the old parts still in it. I have to stop and think. Come on, cats. Let's get out of here. I, I certainly am a little distracted this morning. Got my hands full with cats and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, look at this guy. Smile for the camera. Okay, I tell you his name, but I haven't got it straight yet. One is Bert and one is Wally. 
There he is. <laughs> He's just let me out there. I want to check this stuff out. Okay, I'm putting you down. His brother's just around the corner here. But yeah, okay, a little bit distracted <laughs> this morning. I really just distracted constantly by these cats. Um, okay, well, what am I doing? Uh, uh, I don't know. So I've decided, considering the condition of the radio and its operation and all that, uh, that there's a little improvement to be gained from me going through and changing out a few capacitors. I'm going to leave that for the next guy, whoever that might be. But I do want to give this radio one last test. So um, I've spoken too soon. I do not have my antenna set up here. Let me do that. So, you know, I am down in my basement and the reception isn't all that great. And this thing has a gigantic and four foot antenna on it. It's just a monster of an antenna, but nevertheless, I don't think I want to use it. So we're going to try this little trick here. <laughs> Goodness knows if that'll work. So this is my outdoor antenna lead coming in. It's just a loop of a wire stuck there. Goodness knows if that's going to help or not. Oh, we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, I flip this up over looks lovely very nice looking cleaned up very nice okay the switch is off the plug is in the power is off the power is on and we want to start on the broadcast band as for this this marker not making it up to the top i'm just leaving that for somebody else to fiddle with okay here we go Hey, maybe this antenna is not switched on. Okay, so that was the Prime Minister talking about the laws in Canada related to abortion. Are you American? Listen to what the laws are in Canada for about abortion. There are no laws. There is nothing. It is just completely up to a woman, her doctor, her husband, and whoever else she wants to consult. Uh, there are no laws in Canada. They were all struck down uh, by our Supreme Court, uh, one province after another, one after another. In Canada, a woman has a right to make those decisions. That's it. That's the end of it. There you go. How about that? Who are you voting for down there in the States? I think you're voting today, aren't you? Well, a couple of issues. Vote for freedom. And, uh, big... 740. 820. 860. Ooh, what happened there? Some whopper noises showing up, but uh, that's not the radio. <laughs> not bad during the day to pick anything up here. Darn, the volume control is very annoying. Okay, well that was a quick tour of the uh, broadcast band, and now we're going to just try, let's try this 31 meter band. Uh, that should be active. 31 meter band is active most of the time, day and night, sort of. I even suspect that Jesus was even more true to the Torah than I, an Orthodox Jew. 
strange that there's such different views here. It's brother stare. You can even hear him just on this. A little bit. Should be a strong station down around here. Often there is. I shouldn't say there should be, but often there is. Around 9.3. I hit the volume control here. Paul was also. There it is. Where do we get these deep contradictions from? Let's just take a look very quickly. Jesus was a contentious transgressor. He condoned Sabbath breaking. He's a bad boy. Whoops. Okay, so the radio is definitely working and uh, picking up stuff and doing a fairly good job of it. So let's just go back and do one thing here before I quit entirely on the radio. Let's go back to this strong station. The dietary actually defiles the inner man. But we know that years later... Can it pick it up with just this antenna? As reported by the early historians, Nazarenes, Messianic Jews, Jewish followers of Jesus, were recognized by the church because they all kept the biblical law, although they rejected Very good. the tradition and Jesus. Hit the volume again. Excellent. The radio's excellent. Uh, you know, as old radios go. And I think this guy's pretty valuable. He's desirable. Has a nice look. And is in pretty good operating shape. Wonderful, I think. Wonderful. Okay, there are proper antenna terminals on the back, uh, but they're inside. And so if you were going to use them, you'd have to fish a wire in there to get to them. Otherwise, I guess going on here is satisfactory. Well, that's fantastic. So part of what's motivating me to move on is I got I got more radios to look at. I got, I got those two RCA guys, which well, I don't know what to do with them. I'm going to take a closer look at them tomorrow. Okay, well, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, wish me luck with my uh, two new cats here. See ya. As far as I know, that anyone shows that nature obeys an optimization principle, that nature does the best possible thing. In this case, that light takes the shortest possible time. Now, Bernoulli knew about Fermat's principle of least time, and he thought he could use it to solve the problem of fastest descent. He converted the problem from a mechanics problem about a particle sliding down a chute to a problem about optics. Instead of a mass that's accelerated by gravity, he imagined a ray of light that would go 